All right, chat. Let's meet a Seer. A bad omen cast a dark shadow over Obi's birth. But through love, he emerged as the champion of the outcasts. He is Seer. Stand out or stand aside. An artist and visionary, he sees what others do not. We will give him a show like no other. With his ability to sense the heartbeats of those around him. All right, hold up, chat. Hold up, because, like, honestly... Okay, here and visualize the heartbeats of enemies within 75 meters when aiming down sights. So you can't just aim down your sights and look at somebody across the map and know their HP and all that. So I think that's good. That's a good way to balance it, because... This is going to be strong, man. You're going to, like, go to third party somebody as Seer, and all you really have to do is ADS, and you'll know which people to shoot at. So uh, this passive is pretty solid. And also, it doesn't take up your entire ADS. Like, you could just see, like, a little circle around your reticle. So it's not, like, you have to aim at stuff, like, as if you're using, like, a digi threat, basically. Seer stalks his enemies like a graceful gonna be That's going to be really good, though. Your heart must beat with passion to the very end. He can summon micro drones. Do we see the this map though? This map, you know, we're talking about Seer here, but this map is kind of snazzy. Like, look at this. You have these like little carts going across, like literally moving carts. I kind of that's pretty awesome. This place looks like it would be amazing for like characters that can switch elevations fast. For example, Valkyrie. She'll be able to, like, just fly up on these buildings and, like, fly up to these carts. I feel like this will be good for, like, Pathfinder, Octanes, Valkyrie. He can summon micro drones from his heart chamber to... Ooh, okay, so the micro drones, the micro drones. All right, summon micro drones to emit a delayed blast that goes through walls, interrupting and revealing enemies. Okay, so this is kind of like Bloodhound Scan in the sense that you have to, like, aim it in a cone towards people. And then if it hits them, you reveal them and interrupt. Interrupting and revealing enemies. Now, like, my question is, like, when they say interrupting, does that mean, like, are they talking about, like, that gets rid of, like, rampart shields and stuff? Is it, like, an EMP? Like, what exactly does interrupting mean? I, I, it sounds like it's an EMP, but that would be really, that might be too strong. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep going. Emit a delayed blast. Now that, that's a big blast. That's a big area, so it's kind of hard to miss. It's uh, it's a little bit skinnier than like Bloodhound Scan, but it also does more because it interrupts enemies, not only revealing them. And we don't know how long it reveals them for either. Interrupting and revealing enemies. It shows you those little icons as if you're like crypto droning people or something. So that's cool. I do my best work with a captive body. Interrupting and revealing If you look at it when they get hit, enemies. you see that like static on them? I, I don't know if that's like a stun or if it slows them or if they just can't use abilities. It seems like it will cancel abilities. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Chat, thank you, thank you. I, I think that's what it is. Like, it will cancel your abilities. I'm I'm guessing it won't be for long, though. Because if it canceled your abilities for a long time, that would be broken. That would be, like, fucking Rev Silence put together with Bloodhound Scan, and that's just busted. I do my best work with a captive audience. Now is the time Wait a minute. for my best work with a... So that's what it looks like. When he aims at people, that's what the health bars look like, chat. Captive audience. Look at that. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Now is the it stops heals and revives, bro, bro. Got you. Okay, so this this new ability, when it says interrupting, it, it stops heals, revives. He can summon micro drones from his heart chamber. Okay, okay, to that's cool. A delayed blast, interrupting and revealing enemies. I do my best work with a captive audience. I really want to see now what exactly that stops. And no one can hide from Seer's ultimate display. When deployed, oh, his snap. Here's the ulti. casts a micro drone net over an area. Do not hide your true colors. Sheesh! Ultimate called Exhibit. Create a sphere of micro drones that reveal the location of enemies moving quickly or firing their weapons within. Revealing the location of enemies moving heavily within it. Okay, so pay attention, chat. It says it reveals the location of enemies moving quickly or firing their weapons. 
Therefore, if you are walking and not sho shooting your weapon, it shouldn't reveal you. Or if you're just crouched in a corner like a bot, it shouldn't reveal you. But yeah, basically, I think what's going to happen is pe people are going to use this ult. And a lot of people are just going to, like, if they can, walk so they can't get, like, seen by it. But that's that's a pretty big area, too. That's a really big area that it takes up. You could not have prepared for me. Like moths to a flame, Seer's grand performance may lead to your demise. But take comfort that your past This map looking kind of nice. Looking kind of nice. Your heart cried out for this. Do not blink, legend. Do not want to miss this. Damn! I, I like that, child. I like it. He seems like he's going to be super strong for competitive. He really does. Like, that ult in late game circles, you're basically going to see everything that's going on. Like, look how big this thing is. Let me find the perfect view. Where is the view at? Let me oh, see. Yeah. Like, right here. Look at that. Look at the size of this. That's bigger than the last circle, for sure. 100%. So if you get to end game with them and then you just throw your ult, you'll have vision on everything. And then, obviously, his, he even has his other scan ability that interrupts, like, reses and stuff. So, man, he's going to be really good for comp. That's, that's awesome. I, now I'm wondering though, like, does his um passive where he ADSs to see people, like their HP? I wonder if that, if you can see people's health through like smoke and stuff. I'm guessing no, because that would be kind of broken, and then there'd be no point of digi threat if Seer can just see everything. But yeah, so far so good, man. The map looks good. The character looks like he's gonna be really strong for competitive. I probably won't play him like too much in like pubs. He seems definitely like more of a competitive character. But you know, I'm gonna test him out and everything and learn how to play him. And this this map, I really like the looks of it. The aesthetics are really nice. Revealing enemy. Alright. What?